Hi guys and welcome to All About The Philippines. Now today we're doing a video which is a follow up to a video I've done previously that, which was called Does Your Filipino Want You Or Your Money? It can be very difficult to know, especially in the early stages of a relationship with a Filipina, whether she's got true intentions for you or she's really just after what she can get from you. Now, I want to make it very clear at the outset that not all Filipinas are chasing money. And there is a bit of a stereotype out there where, you know, a lot of people will say Filipinas are only interested in money. And I don't believe it to be the case. I believe there are plenty of Filipinas out there who are looking for a, a relationship with a man and to have a good life. But in any developing country, there's going to be a higher proportion of women especially looking to do romance or love scams or to be with a man and just for his money or for the lifestyle he can offer her. So today we're going to be looking at 10 signs your Filipino wants your money and not you. So stay tuned. So before we get into the video today guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos also i'm interested to hear your comments around this so leave your comments below if you think there's more signs that your filipino wants your money and not you then certainly put that down in the comments below we'd all like to hear what you've got to say as long as it's done respectfully okay guys let's go so I'm going to keep these points or these 10 points very simple and I'm not going to elaborate too much because they are pretty well self-explanatory. So the first point is that your Philippine is always asking for money to buy things with your money. So she's not willing to go out and get her own job and she expects you to buy her everything that she wants. So she'll come to you and say, I'd like this or I'd like that. But she makes excuses when you say to her, well, you need to go and find a job. The second point, which really follows on from the first point, is that she's asking for expensive things. They're not just little things, but expensive things like expensive jewelry, maybe an expensive house. She doesn't want just any type of house. She wants an expensive house that may be really pushing your budget or very difficult for your budget, especially if she doesn't work. And she might be asking for a nice car or all the best furniture and clothes. She wants designer clothes and not just basic, you know, Kmart clothes. So for me, that's a huge red flag right there that she wants to, you to buy her the best of everything and she's not prepared at all to earn her own money to contribute. Number three is that she'll insist on her own credit card, which you provide to her. So she wants to spend your money when she wants to spend it and again she's not prepared to work to get her own credit card and she's happy to stay at home and just spend all day shopping and this is especially the case when you might refuse her this request and you'll find that her attitude towards you changes very much she might ignore you doing the whole tempo thing and she might even withhold being physical with you and making dinner and looking after you for a period of time until she gets her way. Number four might be that you discover that she's actually sending large amounts of money home to a family member or she could even be sending it to her own bank account in the Philippines which she might be setting up for a later time after she has finished with you and she's preparing for her own life on her own whether it's here in your country or in the Philippines. Number five is that she's really stopped being interested in you. She's more interested in other things, other people, doing her own thing and doesn't really want you to be around so much. And she's not interested in spending quality time with you and looking after you maybe the way she once did, especially early in the relationship. And number six, might be that there's unaccounted times for the day where she can't really explain where she was or what she was doing so i don't mean that you've got to keep 
strict tabs on her every second of the day she needs to account for. But if there's hours at a time where she really doesn't really say where she was was or who she was with or what she was doing, then you have to start to think maybe there is another man involved or she's up to something that she doesn't want you to know about. Now, of course, if that happens once, it's just a one-off thing. But if it happens over and over and over again, then you've really got to be worried that something's going on there. And then you really need to start to be suspicious and really look into what is actually going on with her. Number seven on the list is that she's putting a lot of pressure on you to change your will. So especially if you've got kids or other people that are in the will, she might be trying to get you or make you feel guilty or getting you, asking you to put a lot of pressure on you to change your will so you give everything to her. Now, for many married couples, it's a normal thing to have everything go to your wife. But if she's actually putting undue pressure on you then to do this, then you've really got to think twice about it. Number eight is that you see a planning for the future without you. So basically, after you die, she's already planning a future without you. So she might be looking at property in the Philippines or even property in your country. And you just see her starting to plan ahead. Now, those sorts of plans should really wait till after you die. And the other option is that she might actually be planning on leaving you. So look at bank accounts, see if money's being taken out and being put into any other bank accounts. Uh, if there's unexpected um, withdrawals of money that are going out. And if uh, she's sending money back to the Philippines to relatives to even look after that money for her. Number nine on the list is that she's no longer sexually active with you or sex has dropped off considerably uh, in recent times. So it's, it's natural that in any relationship, uh, as time goes by, the uh, sexual activity reduces somewhat over a period of time. But if it's dropping off altogether and she's not really interested in, in sex at all, then that's a big red flag that she's either not into you anymore or if she ever was into you and she may be even into somebody else at this time and number 10 on my list is that she only does nice things for you after you give her money or you buy her nice things so you give her something that she wants and then all of a sudden she's all happy and she'll start doing nice things for you for maybe the next day or so and then that will drop off and go back to basically ignoring you and being disinterested in you. So my point here is that she can be appreciative of if you get her something or buy her something, but if that's the only time she's appreciative of you or pays attention to you or looks after you, then that's a big red flag as well. So guys, I hope you've got something out of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, leave the big thumbs up, of course. Don't forget to share the video with anyone who may enjoy it and all of your networks. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos. Don't forget to put your comments below. We'd like to hear what you've got to say, but always remain respectful, of course. It's a great source of information to give to all our community here at All About the Philippines. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate all your support. Take care. And bye for now.